Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Yeah. This is going to be a problem, man. I would watch the fucking show behind, up above Casey's right shoulder and that thing. Now that thing's gone, I can't be looking to the left. Stop looking. Hmm. Let me see if I can fix it. No, I'm kidding. I mean, what would you do? There was just literally a, a screen used to be above the other. I could put that screen back on. Do you want that back on there? Yeah, would that take a second? It'd probably take a second. Okay, I'm sorry. But in the meantime, you guys are recording, so. Cool. They you're going to really it. spring that? Hold on. Grant, you're really going to spring that on us right now? Stop looking. Uh, I can't look. I can't <laughs> stop looking to the left. Uh, can all of you all talk in the mic? Hey, how's it going? I love being here on this farm with my friends. Perfect, Casey. <clears throat> Big pig, happy to be on the farm. Nice, Lay Erica. An egg. Hello. Uh, again. Hello, hello. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll fix that. You guys can just go ahead and chat. <clears throat> Cool, so nice to be here. How long have we been on this farm now? It feels like it's been years. I don't know. Farm time, I think, moves slower. Farm time is faster, I think. Oh, I get those mixed up. Yes, yeah, so it's probably been six or seven years. Oh, my God. So, yeah, if it's faster, it's probably almost, close to a decade. When you think about your oh family, God. like one day in farm time is like six days in family time. So you're, our families are probably a lot older than they were. Oh, my God. It's like um, interstellar. Mm. I'm going to go back and my sweet little daughter is going to be... An old Ancient. woman. Are you going to be sweet to her? <laughs> well, by then, I, I feel like I got to respect her. She's my elder at that point. That would be weird. So I won't be sweet to her, but I, at least I'll respect her. How strange would that be if your kid turned older than you? <laughs> Only an interstellar. <laughs> That's what made that movie so great. I don't think that had ever happened in a movie before. <laughs> that <laughs> twisted mind of Christopher Nolan, I swear. Did he do The Rock? No, that's Dwayne... Johnson? What do you... I'm talking about with John Voight? The, the Rock. Rock. <laughs> with the guy from Face Off. Michael Bay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did that one, too. The old... Uh, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Egyptian spy. Not Egyptian spy. English spy. Yeah. Are these all movie titles? I feel like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the <Egyptian. laughs> Isn't Only the movie in... <laughs> called The Rock? Do y'all not remember The Rock? I think John Voight's in it. Angelina Jolie's dad. Mm -hmm. Is he in it? Holes. Holes. Yeah. I think that's what he's known for. He plays for. Zero in Holes. <laughs> yeah. It's John Voight. A young John Voight. Well, nevertheless. I thought he played Armpit. Armpit? Is that his name in <laughs> The Rock? Yeah. Yeah, Armpit Willie. Armpit Willie. That was such a weird bad guy's name. <laughs> that's from The Rock? Yeah. yeah, that's his bad guy's name in The Rock. They go, get under the rock. Here come Armpit Willie. Yeah, get <laughs> under the rock. <laughs> get under the rock. Uh, so I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, what a weird movie. It's just set in that rock the whole time. I, I wish we, I feel like if we're on a farm, we should have some sort of like old tiny TV with like one VHS to play, and that should be it. The Rock. We could put The Rock on. Do you think we could mm. do that, Grant? You want The Rock? We want mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the TV now. Yeah, maybe we could just watch The Rock sure, for this one. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Cons consensus is in. We want The Rock. Yeah, put it on, Grant. Thank you. I'm so excited. But Ike, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Yeah, of course. I had to put. I had to move a lot of appointments around. A lot, a lot of appointments. Yeah. How's all that going with your appointments and your job? There was at least twenty. Hold on, Casey. Bless you. I'm sorry, bless guys. You, Casey. I'm sorry. I had a damn sneeze. It's all the bees on this. It's damn the pollen. Part. Yeah. It's, it's the bees and wasps. God, I hate when you get stung by those things. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, they say a sneeze is when a thousand mini wasps get up in your veins. In your veins. That's what they say, old, old legends. It's like a yeah, Indian wives' tale. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can say that anymore. <laughs> what, Indian wives' tale? Mm-hmm. I don't think they like to be called that. Yeah, we call it a friend's wives' tale. Friend's wives' tale, not mm-hmm. an Indian wives' tale. Mm-hmm. When I say that, what do you picture? Like a Navajo or like a guy in Bangladesh? I like picturing a Navajo. A uh, Navajo excites me. I know, that's fun. I, a lot of the time when people hear Indian, I think they're picturing some guy working on like a computer or something. But yeah, I like picturing a guy on a horse. Oh, I was picturing like a very just um, sexually expressive woman, a Navajo. <laughs> that's what you said. I was going off of what you said. <laughs> Navajo, I was talking about the Indian people, the tribe. Mm. We actually have a Navajo in here today, weirdly enough. Uh, we sure I, do. Yeah. Uh, I was like, what was your name one more time? Heath? Yes. We have Heath here today. Heath, how are you doing? I am, I'm swell. Here, get in front of a camera. Let people see, let people see you. Good. Yeah, you don't good. have we to see you, you don't have to sit in front of it or anything. Just get your ass in front of a camera for a second. Yeah, can you poke your head right there? Yeah, hey, poke your head back. Poke your head in right somewhere. here. Show them what a Navajo looks like. Yeah, let's see what a Navajo looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Heath, classic Navajo. <laughs> yeah, classic Navajo look. Oh my gosh! Wow, it's a pleasure to meet you. Only an in Interstellar. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Well, Heath, you're so sweet to be here. Y'all are actually long distance and long term, what, lovers or ma- or what is it? Yeah, so we, we dated long term for a while um, and then it didn't work out. But when his mother died and uh, I adopted him. That's so sweet. How old were you, Heath, when your mom died? Um, She was, I was still in the womb. Like, Whoa. So you're able to. I'm a miracle baby. They just pulled me right out of her dying corpse. They had to dig her up out of the hole, do open the thing, and you were somehow still alive yeah. in your in your mom's And tummy. I was dating the mom, and you know, transiently, I was dating him. Yeah, he was there. But, oh, seriously, that yeah. was probably a hot relationship. Yeah, seriously. You know, when a woman is pregnant, the doctor says you can still have sex. I don't know if you knew that. And he encourages get, it, and you can't get pregnant again. Right. That's the. It's perfect. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't knock her up again. Well, that's so sweet. Or able to, uh, what are you looking at? I'm looking there? at Casey. What up, dude? What's up, man? Dude, you look good. Thanks, man. You're looking trim. Feeling a little swollen this morning. Face a little bit. No, swollen. I was going to say swole, <laughs> not swollen. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whoa. Whoa. Whoops. Shit, put those guns away. Hey. Whoopie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't notice these boys slipped out when I w- walked out of bed this morning. Oh. Wait, why were you stuffy? You said you were stuffy this morning? <laughs> yeah, I just feel a little swollen in the face. I had dreams about Jeepers Creepers all night. And Remember? That makes your face swell up? <laughs> I guess I was probably crying or something. <sighs> <laughs> I think I was crying. Like, let me go. Let my, let my family go. Let, let, me, <sighs> let the little boy go. <laughs> but I was in some sort of car and the window was broken and he kept trying to get me Jeepy Creepy. So not good. Oh my God. So that was all night you were having those dreams? It was all night. I was fighting Jeepy Creepy in this car at a county fair. I was just driving in a circle around this fair. And he was flying? Very Lovecraftian. Yeah, and he was flying and trying God. to get my feet. My feet were out the window for some reason. He kept trying to grab my feet. Ugh. This is horrifying. I know. Yeah, it was really scary. They say we have like four, oh. or five, six, seven dreams a night. So was this the only dream you can remember or did this carry across across all of your dreams that night? I would get away from him for a while. I think it carried on the whole night, honestly. So you'd like, like three dreams later, scary. you'd be vibing, thinking you've escaped yeah. him. You're just in like a farm or a park or you yeah. know, whatever, and then he pops up. Yeah, I'm at a damn half price books. Jeepy creepy walk in. God. He go, don't I know you? I go, I don't think so. He started running yeah. at me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at him. That's oh a scary yeah. guy. He's Jeepy right behind creepy. me, isn't he? Oh no! He's just in the half price books, looking at you. <laughs> Don't I know you? <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> he is scary looking. Oh what happened God. to his teeth? What happened? I wonder. I don't know. Every twenty three years for twenty three days, he feeds. So it must have fallen into that time frame. It's like a locust. Yeah, 
bury himself. Every 23 years, you can put his skin on your arm. Do you ever pull that prank? You find a locust skin and you put it on like your shirt and you can walk up to somebody and you're like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and they're like, wait, what's on you? And you're like, huh? And you refuse to look down. They're like, something's on your shirt. They, they're freaking out like that? Yeah, something's on your shirt. Whoa, wait, huh? Oh, my God. What kind of bug is that? What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Jeepers Whoa. Creepers. Oh, my God. <laughs> he looks like a vibe in that picture. He looked, <laughs> looked kind of good. <laughs> it's hey, like boys. a Marvel villain here. Yeah, it does. It looks like Infinity Man or whatever. Yeah, he looks like he's going to snap at me or whatever. Yeah. What is that? The new, is that from the older or newer movie? I wonder. It looks like he changed appearance. It looks like he got some surgery or something. <laughs> happened, Creepers doesn't it? Three point oh. Yeah. <laughs> he got some sort of Botox or something. It looks like he fixed it. Look at his teeth. His teeth look totally the, yeah, different. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. The other one he had like jack o' lantern teeth, and these are actually like yellow veneers. <laughs> okay. Whoa, Whoa Grant! Wow. Come on, man. What is that? Thick creepers, baby. Oh, is that him? There's some sexy creepers. art of cheekers. Holy fuck. Uh, one night Look only. Look at them peepers. <laughs> them cheekers. The cheekers. <laughs> cheekers creepers. Cheekers creepers. Uh, <laughs> I got to do a double take. Oof. I just wanted to take another look at you. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> That's Oof. a thick creeper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were dreaming about all night, dude. That doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> oh, they, I'd be swollen yeah. too if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? They weren't you nightmares. Know what I'm yeah, you I'll know put what I'm it saying? that way. Yeah, I was kicking and screaming all night, the good way. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. I was saying, don't let me go. <laughs> Bumping uglies, very ugly, of course. <laughs> Would you bump uglies with Jeeper? That iteration, one thousand percent. The first one we saw, uh, you know, maybe pass. Uh, maybe. I think it would depend if I'd had anything to drink that night. Heath, what are your thoughts, man? Which one would you rather get with if you had to? The first one or this one? I think I'd go with um, the scary one. That one's too intimidating. Like, That's intimidating to you? I wouldn't know how to talk. Oh, it's intimidatingly like pretty Wait, and yeah, stuff. So yeah, yeah. this yep. is the one that you don't find intimidating. Yeah. So I how would like you open with him. this Jeeper if you were looking, if you saw this Jeeper in a bar? I'd ask what kind of movies he liked. <laughs> That's a good way to start. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he says his own movies or is it like more like 51st Well, then I'd probably something? quit talking to him because that'd be really conceited. What if, if he, he mentioned yeah, his own movies? Just like, yeah, do you want to check out some of my movies? Because well, do you like horror? Yeah, how, is what does he? Is that like? how he sounds? <laughs> well, do you like horror? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he go, he go. You ever seen Nine to Five with Dolly Parton? <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, <laughs> you ever seen The Rock? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you haven't seen The Rock? <laughs> oh, you gotta watch it. So badass. Come over. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. With skinny armpit or what, what was that villain's name? What armpit Pete or what was the yeah, armpit armpit Willie yeah. armpit Willie I had it I was close yeah. living under the rock <laughs> it's oh. San Quentin or what is it I don't know it's one of the jails there San Francisco Alcatraz Alcatraz how'd you know that <laughs> Grant very cryptic I have Wikipedia over here <laughs> I've heard of that website I think. Ike, how was your trip? So you traveled here from Florida. Are you are you excited? You're not gonna. Uh, what's the hurricane hitting down there? Hurricane Ian. Um, my wife and three cats will probably be dead by the morning, but I'm alive. I'm here. This is great. I love it. Is, is she sandbagging up y'all's place? Uh, yeah, yeah. She's she's teabagging it. She's sandbagging it. The whole house, <laughs> the whole perimeter. It's what does covered. that mean? Like putting her thing on stuff? <laughs> yeah. That's not going to help anything. It's a Floridian <laughs> thing. You guys don't know. You Texans, you don't know shit. Come on. I bet a good, stay safe. a good spot for that would be like the side of a couch. You could like sit on that kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. Put your thing out. Yep. That's like hurricane prep numero uno. <laughs> put your thing on different stuff. Grant, what was that? What are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, just disconnected a cord. Was probably... that cord important? Oh no, my god. no. We I think we're good. We're still rolling. Oh my god. It's probably on Pirate Bay out there. Torrenting you guys, movies. You guys want a different background? Why are you asking us? I don't know. I feel like I feel at home looking at this. This feels good. 
Wait, so are you excited you're not going to be there? Or is that kind of exciting being uh, in Florida when a hurricane hits? I like when the hurricanes hit from Orlando because, um, you know, Orlando's fairly landlocked. So um, at worst, it's like work's canceled, school's canceled, you know, hang out at your house and watch TV till the power goes out and then take a nap. And when the power it. goes out? Yeah, and that's it. That's basically it. Yeah, what do you do when the power's out? I literally go insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm plugged in 24 seven. Okay, so if I'm not plugged in, there's dark thoughts. Ooh. There's Heath. dark thoughts that start to creep up. Heath, is this true? How many hurricanes have y'all gone through together? He lives somewhere else. <laughs> oh, so it really is a long. It's distance really there. long distance. Yeah. Oh, where do you live? I live in Alabama. Cool. How is it there? It's it's really not that great. It's it's might be hard to imagine Alabama not being that great. It's not sweet. The hype is too much. You a big Alabama. Alabama fan? Leonard Skinner completely mm. lied. I love Skinner. Well, they lied in that song. It's give me back my bullet. He seems pretty pissed. Yeah. You're, you're pissing him off. Yeah. <laughs> you're pissing him off. I've never seen him look that mad. Well, I can tell a little bit. It kind of scares me a little. He's yeah. calm down, man. Relax. Starting to get red. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're making everyone uncomfortable right now, dude. Oh my god, Stop. he's like, <laughs> holy shit! I wish you guys could see this. No need for that. Oh my god, damn. Yeah, no need for that. Well, at least you're not gonna uh, be down there when the hurricane hits. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to float away. I don't want to get blown away. It's scary. Do you know how to swim? I don't. I feel like I should. You learn. never learned, and you live in Florida. No, I never learned, and I live in Florida. It's it's criminal. I know. Every every other weekend, everyone's at the beach, and and I'm home. You can't go to the beach. I can't. I don't know how to swim. If I went to the beach and I tried to swim, look for shark's teeth on the beach. They wash up. Is like, that what you do on the beach? Yeah, I get high and I look for shark's teeth. <laughs> you ever or, or I'll dig holes. How how di- how deep is the deepest hole you've ever dug? Whoa, we I were talking know. about holes earlier. You, you ever been on some zero shit and really get down six feet down there? One time, my dad had to pull me out, and then he was angry, saying somebody's gonna fall in it and they're gonna sue my dad. And... <laughs> <laughs> He's a lawyer, so that was always growing up. So this lawsuits, only hearing about lawsuits. <laughs> but yeah, I'd end up putting a bunch of fucking sand back in the hole because it was too deep and somebody was going to get trapped. Thankless job. Yeah, it's bullshit. It took me literally all day and then I have to fucking put the sand back in the hole. What? I bet that built a lot of character, though. Worst vacation ever. Oh, my God. Where were you vacationing? What beach was this? Destin, Florida. Destin. Destin. Widest beaches in all of Florida. Yep. Litter- Pe- people there, all white trash, whitest people. Fucking awful. Warm sand. That's how the queen died. Found a big old beach hole. I know. What was she even doing down there? Trying she was by the Florida Bama line, I think. <laughs> it's a good thing your dad had you fill that hole up, or the queen might have died like 20 years earlier. Yeah, back when you were on that shit. vacation. <clears throat> That's why I was digging them. Well, I think she was in town for Georgia, Florida football game. <laughs> I think she was doing like the halftime song or something. Yeah, I think she's a big Gators fan. I can't remember yeah. if it's Gators or Georgia. She loves, yeah, the queen. Yeah. Mm. She sings this great song. It's called The Queen's Little Little Pocket Pet. It's I know. Like yeah. So. And the fans, li- they, they're they like, what is going on? It The game hasn't even started yet. They yeah. haven't even done the national anthem. What's this old lady doing? And they're like, oh, it's the queen. <laughs> so people start loving it. People are into uh, once they realize who it is. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the queen. It's the queen. <laughs> <laughs> And that song just lo- kind of loops and loops forever. Yeah. So eventually, people kind of learn the lyrics. They start singing along. It's it's yeah. it's a lot. Y'all, my little pocket pet, bring it down to my town. Yeah, it's something like that. Something so, like that. And it's yeah, just that like, and that for like fifteen singing? minutes. <laughs> what is she talking yeah. about? <laughs> Who is this old woman? Oh, it's the queen. Yeah, word starts spreading. Oh, it's the queen. Oh, oh no. Listen, listen. No, no, that's the queen. Yeah. She's actually that? pretty good. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Give her a chance. Give her a chance. She's really old. <laughs> but she does it. Well, now she won't be doing it anymore for that Florida-Georgia game. Largest outdoor <laughs> cocktail party in the nation is what they call it. Are they going to, like, you know, 
end the tradition in honor of her, or is like a Markle or someone going to take over the th- the crown, the throne, so to speak? No, I think they're doing a statue, like a bronze statue, in front of the Jackson. I think it's the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. There's about to be a bronze statue of the Queen. <laughs> it was in the contract that when she died, they're going to do. It's like a ten foot. Oh, mm. it's like not life. It has those motion activated eyes, right? Where you, anytime you walk past it, they plays turn a snippet red. of the song. It turns red. <laughs> the they song open plays. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they open up and start moving around. Come on down to my town. Yeah. yeah the the song park if <laughs> <laughs> These are red, beady eyes. They're little, beady eyes. I mean, it's, it's a 10 foot statue, but the eyes are just. I thought it was else. bigger. I thought it was like as big as that, um, you know, that one, that Denver airport horse. That thing is scary. Yeah. That has red eyes. That killed the dude who built it. What a dumbass. It fell on devil. top of him. Oh my God. How dumb do you have to be? How dumb do you have to be to make something and it kill you? What a fucking idiot. I mean, that's what happened to Rick Moranis, though, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Didn't that end up killing him at the end? Yeah. Oh my god, I never finished the movie. I don't You never finished that I stopped, movie. I turned it off at the okay. Daddy Long Leg part. I <laughs> too scary. Uh, I'm just getting Stop, Ike. You really thought that was too scary, the Daddy Long Leg part? <clears throat> it just grossed me out. I can't <sighs> How are they able to even do that in the first place? They didn't even have the CGI wasn't even invented back then, so they had to find real Shrink Galapagos rays. Island spiders. Oh, Yikes, I hate that. Whoa, look at her little red eyes. Yeah, that's what the statue looks like. Oh, my little pocket pen. <laughs> and her face, the statue looks like that. Her face is like ghost white. Her yeah. hair looks all white. Yeah. She has a white fucking fur robe on. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, man. So scary, dude. Who is that woman? <laughs> is that the queen? <laughs> <laughs> I come on, dude. <laughs> the, the, I I I, I want to say I don't know if the viewers ever get this kind of meta appreciation of your production value here, but the the production value is insane. These queens are truly terrifying right now. Yeah, Grant, yeah. are you fucking oh hearing this shit coming from Mike? Are you oh fucking God. around right now? This I am eating realistic. it up. I am loving it. This is too realistic. I'm getting. This is like uncanny valley right now. Well, it's a 4D studio, so we have these little air squirters that squirt. They squirt your skirt up like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. So it makes it feel like 4D. spiders. Yeah, I didn't want to wear a yeah. skirt today just for that. <laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's 4D. It has yeah. those like uh, smell mists too, right? Like yeah. you smell shit. But it's... <laughs> yeah, sometimes and there's little uh, things that feel like mice tails. <laughs> Mouse tails. They yeah, hit thought... the back of your legs sometimes. Oh, God. Yeah, I've been getting goosebumps and getting tickled. Yeah, it's, this ma- whole time. it's mice tails. Mouse tails. Mouse is. Mouse I just thought it was real mice. That's pretty exciting that it's just the 4D yeah, they're simulator. Not real. It's the four, part of the 4D simulator. Do, do you recognize that smell? Um, there's a hint of sulfur, but I feel like there's at least two or three other notes going on here. <laughs> oh, is that you, Heath? Sorry. Okay. Heath, are you farting over there, dude? Don't yeah. fart over the mist, the 4D <laughs> misters. I'm trying to pick I'm up what they're putting out. <laughs> Heath, I've just been bothered. I hope people are nice to your ass in Alabama. You had me scared a little. Your response to you being from Alabama and everybody's real mean. It's not that bad. I'm, I'm a drama queen. No, you're not. Yeah. A drama queen in Alabama, yeah. they must tear your ass up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? I don't know. Does that what make it, you jealous? A little bit. I'm, we're long distance. Like, why do I have to be all the way in Florida while he's getting his ass torn up in Alabama? It's not yeah, fair. Just have fun. State it lines are one of the worst though. inventions, I swear. Bullshit. It pays the bills? Yeah. How much money do you make a month? A lot. Like, what's a number? Like at least this much. Don't be shy. You were flexing damn. on me all night and day what your bank account was. We get in front of these people and now all of a sudden you clam up. Seventy two dollars a week. Yeah. Pretty okay. impressive, right? He was like bragging said, about that shit nonstop. It's almost three hundred a month. You guys made me say yeah. it. I didn't want to say it and brag, but no, I fucking Okay, now it. I regret asking you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty sweet gig though, right? Now I regret asking your fucking ass. I mean, regret it too. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding too. You are. Yeah. I'm okay. Kidding. Is he kidding? <laughs> I don't know. I never know what the hell's going on with him. <laughs> What'd y'all Seven. eat last night? <laughs> Seventy-two. Read them and weep, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Numbers don't lie. <laughs> Seventy two dollars a week. <laughs> it's all right there. <laughs> that. Yeah, there it is. That's what it looks like. Just follow the paper trail. I swear. <laughs> That's actually how you're supposed to declare your money on your taxes. You just bring them a big old whiteboard. <laughs> Seventeen thousand dollars. <laughs> Is that how much you made last year? Holy shit! It's close. It's close. But uh, <laughs> you know, that's whoa! Good look too. at that. Whoa. About seventy bucks. That's exactly seventy-two dollars. <laughs> that's your weekly earnings right there. Yeah. Holy hell! Damn. That's what it looks like. What is your favorite meal to get after you get paid? Um, um, you like their Cracker Barrel? I do not like Cracker Barrel. I'm more. Oh, of like, weird. Why not? Because I used to lightly. work there. You used to work there? Yeah, I only got paid sixty-two dollars a week there, and so like that's when ten dollars less. Yeah, it's it's not as good as getting your ass eaten or whatever we decided. Oh, God, right? Yeah. Dear God. Yeah. Man. Wow. Yeah. Well, keep your head up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> keep your head up. I Things will. will get better. All I heard right. if they if you sell rocking chairs there, you get commission. Why didn't you ever just try to sell a couple rocking chairs? Because it's tough, man. The, the rocking chair market is not as big as you would think. You gotta you gotta work really hard to sell. That's Biden's rocking America chair. for you. I know. Fuck. Yeah. It's all going downhill. Yeah. Rocking chairs. Speaking of Biden's America. How uh, how are your? We stayed together down in Florida. You slept on the floor, remember? How could I forget? We stayed together for two days. Casey, at night, I would start snoring some, and then we'd have to be like, "I wake up." You would have lost your mind in our hostel <laughs> last night because so my snoring. Well, I was sitting there thinking like, "Oh no, I'm so worried my snoring is going to be an issue." And then there was like three other people that snored so loud in our room, <laughs> so mm. you could tell how bad it was, how dis- yeah, disrupting was like, it is sucks. to a good Oh my sleep. god, I-, I can't believe that you and Han still did as well as <laughs> you did that week with me totally disrupting things. <laughs> well, that was fun though. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, Wait, was how's the hostel? Does it seem safe? What do you think, Heath? I think that it is safe enough. No one took my Listerine mouthwash. I left it right there in the oven. Everyone was very... Well, it's good nobody good. turned the yeah. oven on, Heath. Dude, don't keep it in an oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, what if somebody turned that thing on? Um, It would not have been good. It would blow up yeah. is what would happen. It would blow up. Yeah, yeah. So, Listerine when heat's in, involved with it, it literally turns into like a pipe bomb. If you <laughs> if you get our our hostel blown up, I definitely think we're gonna get kicked out before the rest of our stay. Well, maybe not. Not if we apologize, or not if everybody's dead. Yeah, yeah. If there's no witnesses, there's no one to yeah. kick us out. <laughs> yeah, if y'all take out everybody after the fire, nobody's gonna know. Exactly. Stand outside with the damn Gatlin gun. Yeah, <laughs> just get them all when they come out. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not. The not survivors of the explosion as they run for <laughs> for safety. You're not going anywhere. I know I left the Listerine in the fucking yeah. oven. <laughs> yeah. And that's on me. <laughs> go, 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 go. And just Heath is out there with like an army helmet, just getting them with a giant machine gun. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Be careful. Was it a? Do you travel with a giant thing of Listerine, or is it one yeah. of the small ones? I travel with a big bottle that's almost empty. Damn, I think that's what. Do you remember that video from like the fifties or sixties where it's that giant explosion and it's like in a, like off of an island? It's it's filming from off of an island. I think that is actually from Listerine being in an oven. Could be. Yeah, I think that's how it was chemicalized. Yeah, I think that's how it was concentrated originally. Yeah, it was concentrated down in the that, island. That's what that Oppenheimer guy was doing, right? <laughs> yeah, Jamaica. Yeah. He's down there drinking Red Stripe and just fucking around with him, different types of mouthwash. Red Stripe. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. That's a good Oppenheimer. Red Stripe. <laughs> yeah. Oppenheimer impression. <laughs> Sounds yeah. just like him. <laughs> hand, hand me the beaker. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> He's getting his hair braided. He's becoming death out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is slowly. Oh, man. When, whenever y'all have slept in a room with a guy who's snoring, do you ever scream really quickly to try to scare him awake and then act like you were asleep so they don't know why they woke up? That's what I do every time. I wish snoring. that's what you had done. Move. I wish yeah. that's what you had done. 
Instead, it was Ike. Ike, you're sn- Ike, go to your side. Ike. <laughs> After 30 minutes of stewing sounds, on the bed, just working like myself yeah. up. Ike, what the fuck? Go to your yeah, fucking side. Yeah. It's a very important show tomorrow. I need my rest. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped. Manscaped. Man. Helps you trim everything off your body. Oh. Hair off your body everywhere. Manscaped. Moles, warts, yesterday's news with Manscaped. Read yesterday's news with Manscaped. Shave my orange pubes with manscaped yeah you can shave regardless of the color of your hair down there you can it works Mm -hmm. Mm. because some trimmers don't work on let's say orange or blonde hair but works on brown hair these work on all all different colored hair Mm -hmm. awesome no matter the size of the follicle no follicle too big no follicle too small and and william we've been talking about this it's smooth sack summer it is Smooth Sack Summer 2022. That time of year again for Smooth Sack Summer. Smooth Sack Summer with Manscaped. Get real smooth down there. Never forget it. 2022. Smooth Man <laughs> Summer. <laughs> or Smooth Lady Summer. Yeah. It can be anything. Yeah, it doesn't just have to be a man. Yeah. What? Shaving their pubes. What are some words that comes to mind when you think manscaped? Smooth, buff, sack, S- summer, summer, and buff. Buff. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that buff guy. He's probably using manscaped. Clean. Has to be. I guarantee it. Too. I actually recognize that. That's a manscaped chest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably used the lawnmower 4.0 on that chest. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, I wouldn't even doubt it if he used the Shears 2.0, a luxury nail grooming kit with nipples like those. He probably did use the, yeah, the... <laughs> the Shears 2.0? Shears 2.0, or it could be the lawnmower 4.0 or Shears 2.0. All kinds of options. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, the performance package 4.0 has it all. Wow. Everything you might need. Go to manscaped.com. I'll get 20% off and free shipping with a code WMS at manscaped.com. Code WMS, 20% off free shipping. Get a chest like that. And don't forget, keep things smooth and fresh. As we say, sayonara to smooth ball summer and enter fresh ball fall. Fresh ball fall 2022. I'm ready. Mm. <laughs> I need my beauty rest. I need my Z's. You just kept saying that. You weren't supposed to fucking tell anybody that. Well, you keep bringing up the snoring. What do you want me to do? Yeah, why weren't you just sleeping on your side the whole time? Why would you even think to sleep on your back? Oh, I'm so sorry that uh, sleeping on the floor, certain positions aren't as comfy as other positions. Okay, well, fair enough. Well, it ended up all right. It was all right. It was a very fun trip. We had a blast. It ended up all right. Yeah. Heath, why weren't you there? I don't know. Um, we were fighting at the time, and lovers quarrel. Yeah, yeah. He had been talking to some other bitch. Yeah, right in front of me, over Facetime. Heath, you can't be doing that, man. Flaunting it. It's I fun. do feel bad about it. He was like, "I'm earning my seventy-two dollars. <laughs> look, <sighs> look." You should probably charge more too. You yeah, look like you're a, really not. Made you up. look like a kid. You could probably charge a shit ton. You look like a little boy. Yeah, I, that I, could be end up with some I good money. Two dollars was a lot. That's, no, it's a lot to look, a kid, but it's not a lot. <laughs> like, you know, to make a living, it's really not. You know, just because you look like a kid doesn't mean your concept of money has to be the same concept of money as a kid. You know, you're not running a lemonade stand here, okay? You're selling your body. Yeah, we're not on kids' time at the lemonade stand. Kids' time and farm time are very similar. Pretty similar, yeah. kids' time and far- farm time. Yeah. You know, really quickly sometimes, but if you're not feeling it, it goes, like, really slow. Like, if you're not selling the lemonade, it starts, it's like, how many hours have I And then been? dad's coming out, and he's like... You better fucking sell all the lemonade. Yeah. I literally spent the last of my paycheck on these supplies. 
Yeah, this is it. I you mean, said you'd family... make back triple this weekend. <laughs> yeah, triple. What do you mean? I didn't say triple. I'm like, Dad, Dad, that's not reasonable. Please. Dad, come on. But whatever. At least, I don't know. You'll get through this. I will. You'll get through I'll this. I'll make it through. Seriously, you will. Yeah. Don't you think, Casey? Yeah, things are looking good for you and for all of us. Yeah, things are looking up, dude. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Okay. Look, dude, that's your check. Look, 7280. Who wrote you the check? His address and signature isn't on there, right? We don't want to leak that. We don't want to dox him. His address is on there. Yeah, 473 Main Street. Street. Heath, is your real name Josh? What the hell is going on? Yeah. I'm looking at the signature line. Heath is my stage name. Oh, Oh, man. Anywhere U.S. Where's anywhere? That's was Indiana. You said. I think it's outside of Terry Hall. Yeah, Terry Hall, Indiana. Heath, you've been selling your body for at least three years now. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, that's an old check. Yeah, I'm surprised you had that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like the very first check you earned after your first week's work? Yeah. It was. Wow, it's in a little little vase. Yeah, it's not a, a vase, little... but <laughs> yeah, it's like Heath. Why do you keep your first check in a vase? <laughs> no one can see it but you. So. But that's the only person that needs to see it, man. You just need to look mm-hmm. in that vase every day when you wake up and see the first check and try to get it out every time, but you can't. Your hand <laughs> keeps getting stuck. It's like yeah. a raccoon trap. You can grab the check. <laughs> you can't pull it out. And I'm like, Heath, you could just, you know, turn it over and dump the check out, but you don't want to listen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you really, sometimes you really need that money and you'll spend hours <laughs> trying to get your little hand into the vase. And his hand's pretty uh, little, so just think how narrow that vase is. Yeah, it's very, very narrow vase. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what the oh. hell did you just mime? Yep. A narrow vase. Oh, my God. Yikes. We're seeing that, te- that $72 technique right yeah. here. <laughs> Heath, come on, dude. Yeah, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. <laughs> this is way too profane. Oh. A little raccoon house. Mm. Hi, buddy. He looks very scared. Hello, sweetie. I wonder how long he's lived in there. I'm going to pay a mortgage on that cage. Hi, sweetie. Oh, Oh, man. Oh, fuck. me. Whoa. Stop. Oh, my God. Don't get your hands so close. It was the 4D. Every once in a while, we'll put a little wasp on a little string. like a little sting on my finger, you guys. I feel like you should have to warn someone before they enter into the 4D studio if this kind of shit's going to happen. And anybody listening, if you do want to keep your wasp alive on the string, just keep him in the freezer. Yeah. (laughs) He goes to sleep. He goes on a, like, cryo sleep. We have a wasp (laughs) that's been alive for, like, four years now. Yeah. You're going to have to suck that venom out. (sighs) 4D venom. Yeah, I really should have had to sign some sort of waiver before I came in here today. Grant yeah. didn't make you? Mm-mm. Well, that was a mistake. Mm-mm. We'll talk about cool. it after. We got an EpiPen on a string, too, so we could put that down at you. <laughs> yeah, if you need one, yeah. Right in the forehead. It feels like if I were you guys, I would just sub out the wasps for the EpiPens on the string if it's going to give you the same sort of sensation. You do yeah. what? You have wasps on string stinging yes. people with venom. Yes. You also have EpiPens on string that should feel like a sting. Why not sub out the wasps with the EpiPens, and then you don't have to worry about the venom at all? And then it's a safe. What if you're allergic to? Because if yeah, yeah, what if the person has diabetes? You can't be giving somebody an EpiPen with diabetes. Well, then you bring back in the wasps, and the venom counteracts the. That's diabetes. what they say. It's not true. That's like stealing from Mary to feed Paul, Pe- dude. Yeah, Come on, Paul's man. hungry as shit. Paul's starving. Mary works at the pizza place. It's fucking weird as shit. I think Paul was standing outside my hostel this morning, begging me for money. Ugh. He was. He's so hungry. Barf. Yeah. Yeah. Barf. 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 <laughs> Is that him? That was him, yeah. Paul. Paul. Peace and love. <laughs> love it, man. Is that Paul Mooney? Yeah, I think Isn't so. Isn't that a comedian? <laughs> yeah, that's him, I think. Yeah. I can oh, smell man. the whiskey on his mustache. That's what. That's a great thing about this studio. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, he stinks. Yeah, yeah. He stinks. <laughs> it smells oh. in here. Yeah, do you smell that? I know. It's it weird technology. smells like technology. my fucking father. What? God, there was actually a raccoon in my <laughs> neighborhood growing up that was awake during daytime hours, which you have to be careful of. And my neighbor was in his garage, and the raccoon bit his legs all up. <laughs> then he had to get tetanus <laughs> shots. You have to be careful if you see a raccoon in the daytime, because that means something's wrong with them. Because oh. they like it at nighttime. So if you see one straggling around in the daytime, you have to be careful. 
Yeah, they might have herpes. Yeah. <sighs> or a knife. But yeah. what if, I mean, you don't think that's a generalization? Like, you shouldn't generalize all people, all white people. You know, why are you generalizing all raccoons? Because it's a fact. If you see one in the daytime, they're up to no good. Mm. It's a fact. Mm. You've known of raccoons mm. before in the daytime that weren't causing mm. trouble? Well, now that I think about it, it is daytime as we're recording this, and that 4D raccoon did bite me. We <sighs> we don't have a 4D raccoon yeah, in here. Yeah, what are you talking <laughs> The 4D wasp <laughs> simulating the raccoon bite. I don't know what the hell you call it, okay? It's your system. There's a knife now directly behind me, and if I'm worried if I lean far too over one side... <laughs> No, yeah. seriously, we don't have a 4D raccoon. What bit your yeah, ass? When did you see that? Casey, you were there. You saw it. You said it was a wasp. I feel like I'm going insane now. Is the venom hitting my head? Brother. I'm, 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 <laughs> getting, a little, I'm getting a little... I think a little... You need a damn ice pack. I think, I'm getting, I think I'm getting a little... Yeah, Grant, can you bring him an ice pack, please? I think I need a damn right ice pack. <laughs> or can you just pop up like an igloo behind us or something? It could get cooler. Oh, that's true. That Even easier. Out. Use the 4D cooler to chill my ass down a little bit. Yeah, that could work. Cool down. <sighs> cool down, man. That's what they say in Jamaica. But... <laughs> cool down with red stripe. Everything's frosty, man. <laughs> everything. Everything. Everything's icy. I, I re, icy. I re. Ooh, it's freezing. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that did the trick. You're feeling better? Oh, yeah. What oh, was yeah. that? I was I was letting the, you know, the kind of mist, the kind of gentle, you know, the kind of breeze roll through me. Oh. Letting it recharge my, you know, my uh, joints. Wait, so when we were in the hotel room, you were working on one of your clients. How was that going? Uh, I had my last day for her yesterday or two days ago. He's running some of these OnlyFans. Really? Yeah, I was a ghostwriter, oh, a social media manager for an OnlyFans model. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And I saw him posting on different subreddits. What were some of those <laughs> subreddits? Oh man, I'm trying to think of what the names were. I could pull up a list here. It was like, there's like, you know, huge hangers and stuff like that. <laughs> space dicks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, space dicks, huge hangers. Those were definitely the top two I would post yeah. in. Wait, so why was it your final day with the lady recently? I just have, I've been, I've been, you know, working on some other stuff in Orlando and I just don't have as much time, as proper time needed to, uh, you know, respond to dick pics and whatnot. Yeah, I could act like the person, Casey. Yeah. They would think they were talking to the lady, but they were talking to <laughs> I. <laughs> That's so funny, I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, oh, I'm thinking about you when I'm with my wife right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have to be like, oh, daddy, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, daddy, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> daddy, that's good. Just a lot of that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's so good. <laughs> oh, daddy, that's hot. <laughs> oh, daddy, so that's good. good. <laughs> yeah, honestly, be, it's the easiest job in the world. These people are like pouring their heart and souls out to you for months on end. And every message I send back is, oh, daddy, that's good. Daddy, that's hot. <laughs> and little do they know they're talking to your ass. <laughs> they're not talking to the girl that's almost a little heartbreaking. Did that ever get to you at all? Yeah, I spent a lot of nights, um, you know, grappling with myself, you know, trying to decide if there was some moral line that I was crossing. Um, Did it ever turn into like the movie One Hour Photo where you actually start start catching feelings for one of the guys? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had my, uh, I, I, I think I imprinted on at least four or five guys. Whoa. Yeah. What does that mean, imprinted? It's like an animal thing. It's like a werewolf thing, you know. So they oh. <laughs> What do you mean? It's like uh it's like my, you know, it's like when you catch feelings so hard that there's it's your your souls are linked and bound to each other. So that happened to four men. Four, four, four men. men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys don't realize this, having not worked in the field, but after about three or four months of saying, oh, daddy, that's so good. Oh, daddy, that's so great to a few guys. Like, it really, you start to mean it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You really start to mean it. When I said, by like uh, the 30th time I said that, I was like, Daddy, that is good. Yeah, it's good you're thinking about me when you're having sex with your wife. 
<laughs> God, what a creepy bird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if, if either of you uh, want to start an OnlyFans, let me know. What you what you doing with that Soviet hat on, dude? Yeah, that damn Soviet cap. Oh, good morning. Hello, I'm boy. trying to show my respects for the war. Hi, <laughs> Who are you rooting for in the war? <laughs> I've got money on both sides, so either way, I come out good. What if like one scores a touchdown in the first half? Yeah, I bet like bets. ten grand on both <laughs> sides. So either way, it's gonna be a wash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Yeah, it's funny how some of the bets are scoring 21 points in the first half. So yeah. I don't even know what that would be like. A lot of prop bets. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fumbles and penalties. I don't know any of the terminology, but I love the rush of gambling. And that's all that matters. You yeah. do? Yeah. I love the rush. Just bet, yeah, putting 10,000 on both sides in a war. Like, that's ballsy. That's brave. Some say I'm on the wrong side of history. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Have you made other bets in wars before? Oh yeah. <laughs> what were what are some ones that stand out? Well, so there's you know you can do simulations of older wars now, and you can bet on those. Oh cool. Um, the simulations always run the same way though, so and I, I haven't learned that yet. I've I've still there's plenty of times I've gone through World War II simulations, and I'm like, nah, Germany's definitely going to learn this time. <laughs> Oh, so out. that so man, you got to start learning. Yeah, you should read about it more. <laughs> mm. You open up some books mm. about it. Uh oh, mm. that's a no go. Mm. You're that's not a... going to read up on mm. World War II. That's a big mm. no go. Mm. Mm. You're not reading up on World War II. Mm. 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 You need to, man. I can't read. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, we were in a bookstore earlier today. I think he's lying. Was he looking at? Yeah. What was he looking at? Um, I was looking at all the pictures, Heath. It was Heath. pictures, so who knows. What were you looking at, Heath? I was looking at poetry. That's sweet. Yeah. That's deep. It's, Who's your favorite poet, like Shel Silverstein? Uh, Dr. Seuss. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> yeah, very talented. Rattle off a bar right now. A Dr. Seuss bar. Let's hear it. What's your favorite? Green, in, green eggs and ham. Are the bam? That's not. I thought you were about to literally recite <laughs> "Green Eggs and Ham," and I was I about to be know. so impressed. It would have been impressive, but I did not prepare. That doesn't sound like a real line, but again, I don't know how to read, yeah. so I, I can't verify that. I think that's an Ario Speedwagon song. Yeah, I don't even think that's Doctor Seuss book. Yeah, "Green Eggs and Ham." Yeah, that's are the bam or are whatever. The bam. Are the bam. Come on down to my town. Yeah. I'm a little pocket bear. <laughs> I'm a little pocket bear. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the lyrics are on the screen. Ooh. Cool. Oh, cool. Cool. Thanks, Grant. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, I just oh, looked it oh. up. Oh, cool. Oh, so cool. Heath wasn't Thanks. lying. Yeah. Heath. You were actually being serious. You were being serious. That's a real Dr. Seuss line. Mm. He really is like a hero to you then. Seuss. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Isn't everything you do a minor? You yeah, have a minor exactly. in it. Why is that? Because he's small? Because You're I'm not small that small, he. And um, a minor, I think. You're pretty big, dude. All Thank things considered. I mean, you were flexing earlier. You looked pretty. You looked as swole as Casey, at least. At least as swole as me, if not more big swole. Yeah, I mean, all things considered. I right. Could probably I mean. arm wrestle everyone in this room, but, like, you know. You want to know what's small? Damn small is an almond. You're not nearly as small. These are tiny. Yeah. And don't put almonds do, in a thing of water. I think water. I could take mm -mm. on an almond. Like I don't think that almond has a chance. You'd eat it? Me. I think I'd I think I'd beat it up and then eat it. Yeah. Beat it up to show it who's boss. Yeah. And then eat it because that's the circle of life. Beat it up and eat it up, baby. Yeah. Do not beat it up. <laughs> I think that's a Cardi B lyric. Yeah, it probably <laughs> is. <laughs> Beat it up, eat it up. <laughs> Green almonds and ham. Yeah. They're the bam. You know, with how tiny almonds are, it's crazy that they didn't have any giant almonds in the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movies. I would have loved to seen the scale of almonds to tiny people. Yeah, flip-flopped. Flip-flop that shit around. That what if the nice. movie was just there were real big almonds <laughs> around? Yeah, I, I could have, honestly, I, I <laughs> really like could have done without the spider scene, and instead they're riding around on almonds that are just, like, falling out of a bag or something. Like, somebody <laughs> drops a bag of almonds, and 
they hop on one as it's rolling, and that's how they get to where they're going. They don't, we don't need spiders. We don't need to bring spiders into this. Yeah. No, oh, just it's mm-hmm. almonds for yeah. all the... Yeah, everything they interact with should just be almonds. Oh. Like, honestly, I think the whole movie should be like, he shrunk his kids and dropped them in a bag of almonds and sealed the bag. Oh. And that's Yikes. the whole bag, or the whole movie, I mean. Now um, they only have like six days of oxygen or something. Mm-hmm. Now that's a movie. You tell <laughs> yeah. me those aren't some high-pressure stakes. That's some kind of shit that would come from Christopher Nolan's Twisted Mind. Six shit. days to survive. Six <laughs> days to live. Yeah, that's that would be the title. And they're showing big almonds falling around, <laughs> like little kids. Around. Like. Yeah. Oh my god. There's a bunch of them. They go almond lanch, like yes. av- avalanche. <laughs> Who's dropping all these almonds on us? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Where are these almonds coming from? Only three more days. It's a bag. It's a bag of like you know peppered onion or peppered almonds, and so they're sneezing the whole time too. Oh, Six oh. days of sneezing on a limited oxygen supply. That's basically like three days. That's of oxygen three days supply. for sure. Yeah. yeah, I read about that sometimes on the scuba forums. Yeah, if you start sneezing underwater, your oxygen is like, like half. Yeah. yeah, it's like bye bye bye. Hope you're close to the surface. Because <laughs> if you're not, you're gonna drown. Look at that. Is that from the... Look at that little guy. Oh, my God. Who's that little joker? Hey it's a little guy in the <laughs> giant bag of almonds. Green almonds. Oh, my gosh, oh my Grant. God. Look at that guy. Oh, my God. Grant, how'd you even think to do put that... Grant, put you him shrunk in there? that kid. <laughs> Grant, <Whoa. laughs> Uh-oh. Grant, Grant stop. These Hold kids on, had dude. dreams. Stop shrinking these kids, Grant. Please. It cannot be undone. Think about what you're doing. Yeah, I don't know how you're even doing this, Grant. I mean, Grant. Put one more in there. Yeah, get a note. I thought, yeah, I thought Honestly, you were going to put more. Yeah, What's going gonna, on? He really, took, he really took a note. He took the note. He stopped shrunk the kids. <laughs> That's good. That's good. God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. You didn't, re- you didn't really shrink that kid right all the way. You, like, half shrunk that kid. <laughs> He's still big. <laughs> He's bigger than he was before, yeah, I think. What the fuck? <laughs> That kid is huge, Grant. Please. And there's the white Either box properly shrink him. it or get rid of it. Either properly shrink it. Yeah, or get him get the right rid- size. He's way too big <laughs> and there's the, the white box around him. That doesn't look as believable. <laughs> the other ones were believable. There were no white boxes in the movie. There we go. There we go. I'm still not he's buying still, it. He's still bigger than <laughs> he's still the same size as the little boys that are presumably older than babies. Grant, you got to get the white square off of them, dude. I'm not buying that. Nobody's going to believe that when they're watching this. Seriously, man. We need some continuity. Seriously. I think it it looks pretty good. There's a big white box around them. It doesn't look real. Maybe it's like an artistic choice, you know? Maybe something like this would get like a seven-minute standing ovation at the Cannes Festival. Like, it's, it's bold. It's yeah. not how you pronounce that. The can, the cans. It's not the how you cans pronounce festival. that. The Cannes Festival is just the festival where they show all the biggest booths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> all the biggest honkers of the year. Uh-oh, they're getting out of the almonds. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> There's one on me. Out yeah. of the almonds and into the world. He's got me by the sweater. Yeah, I can't fucking breathe anymore. Oh like, that God. kid is, I'm all this up This is, like, claustrophobic. Oh my god, you're gonna tear my sweater, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. look. Bye bye. Right. <laughs> hey. Okay. All right. These kids aren't so bad. They're not. They're not too unruly. They fall. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? The kid unshrunk himself. I thought it was. I thought it was irreversible. And that's feeling I don't hot know what on my there. shoulder. That's feeling hot. That baby breath on your shoulder. He's yeah, gonna... no, that's literally feeling hot on my shoulder. You better watch out. You're going to get, like, spittle or something on you. Oh, my God. <laughs> he heard what you said. This is turning into, like, a nightmare, Grant. <laughs> oh, my God. The air is so hot now. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the almonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kid is right. <laughs> yeah, if you open a bag of almonds and you saw a baby head, I mean, what would you think? God, I don't know. He kind of looks a little bit like William, though, right? William, is that your son? Grant, why would you even <laughs> open up that can of worms? Oh my why gosh. would you do that on here right now? Do you have a son you didn't tell us about? Why would you open up that can of worms right now? It looks just like you. You have mm. all the same features. It's uncanny. Well, shit, we don't even have the same colored eyes. It's not my fucking kid. 
It's not my kid. It's not know. my kid. Might be your kid. Oh, I think you hurt his feelings. He's getting smaller. Again. Yeah, he's shrinking. He feels awkward. Go the ahead. other kids are still vibing back there, though. They're still having fun. He's <laughs> just running in a damn circle. <laughs> oh. Striking a pose. Ike, so what are y'all? What else are y'all going to be doing here? Um. Well, we were electric scootering earlier. Were y'all being careful? I was. I don't know about you, Heath. I was trying to be. Careful. You, you were wearing a helmet? I did not wear a helmet. I didn't tell me to wear a helmet. Okay. And he's like responsible. <laughs> Am I'm the one who's supposed to make sure you wear a helmet? Yes. Has y'all ever met before in real life? Like yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. How was it meeting each other for the it first was time? I mean, you, especially you, after like years of dating, it was magical. I felt like a ninety day fiance sort of thing. Like it was it was it was good. I imprinted he was one of the people I imprinted on. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Found out it was him and I was even more attracted. Which subreddit were you what which subreddit were you did y'all meet on? It was the space dick one. Yeah, that one. Mm. What is space dick? Uh space dicks is a collection of various wieners with jewelry and Casey's the moderator of it. I'm the moderator. Oh really? Yeah, so it's like a lot of clips from the Netflix series The Sandman, and then, <laughs> then like, and then uh, you know, naked gifts of my old boss. Yeah, <laughs> that was basically it. Yeah, naked gifts of like, yeah, John Voight and shit. Mm-hmm. And is Dave Thomas? Dave Thomas, the Wendy's is guy. Yeah. yeah, I heard he. That's where a lot of his porn is. Is on Space yeah, Dicks. I, mean, I actually had read. Yeah, he fucking. Yeah, there's that famous gif of him. Like, yeah, you got to hit the hot or like the hot all time. There's ways to filter the content. Yeah. Oh, right. It's so like Dave top is on posts. top. Is he yeah. wearing like a Wendy's like hat or something? He's got the hat. He's got two Frosties over his boobs. And then he's got a Speedo that says, here's the beef, and he keeps like <laughs> peeking it down. Yeah. Hey, yo, you don't want none. You don't want none. We go, we want some more. Yeah, he wants some. We All want the comments some. are like, we want some. Yeah. All those comments have awards uh-huh. and upvotes. Yeah. <laughs> a hundred karma. Absolutely. Stuff like that. Yeah. So what did his thing look That's like? The, did this he is have... the banner for the subreddit right here. So what did his penis look like? It just had different jewels on it? Yeah, it had, like, costume jewelry, yeah. <laughs> it's like old rubies and <laughs> sapphires. and uh, Very square balls. Yeah, one of the weirdest pair. I think it was all the growth hormone on the cheeseburgers. His balls look all mangled. <laughs> yes. It was badass. I've never seen balls that look like that. <laughs> they're literally, like, square? Oh, yeah, they're yeah. like the, the patties that they sell. Exactly. Yeah. Like, it's identical. So it's something to do with the pad. It's something to do with that meat yeah. they serve at Wendy's. Yeah. It's like That's chaos so theory. Yeah, like, would his balls have been square if he never started Wendy's? Like, we wouldn't really. We, we're not in a position to know that. But, but probably not. It probably seems like not. an argument could be made not, but right. <laughs> I guess we just will never know. Yeah. Well, that's like, you know, what's the McDonald's guy, the purple guy? Grimace. Yeah, he's got, yeah. Little, he's, got, he's got little nuggets, you know? They look exactly like little nuggets. Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, does Casey know Grimace? <laughs> come on. Dude. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I keep a picture oh, of thick yeah. Grimace in my I book I honestly bag, was bro. just saying come that on. just as a lead-in for this. That's come really on, all bro. I wanted. <laughs> Fucking that is a thick Jeepers, Grimace. Creepers. Jeepers, the cheapers big, right thick boy. Come I like on, that man. you smelled it after. I love smelling stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's love. just scratch and sniff. Yeah, it smells like strawberry parfait. Ooh, yum. Mm. <laughs> From TCBY. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah. Ooh. Very <laughs> excited. <laughs> so. Yeah, you didn't know. Yeah. No, I didn't know. I had no idea. Hmm. Funny how that works. Yeah, it's weird how shit like that happens. It's crazy how you find things out. Now yeah. that grimace, that one. What are your thoughts on that one, Casey? Kind of frumpy. This one's a butterface, bro. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah right. <laughs> I mean, look at that fucking body, <laughs> but the face. Uh, yeah. yeah, that body won't quit. But those that <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> those eyes look like they're trying to smile, but they look so sad. There's years of sadness. Yeah. <laughs> There's a story there, and I don't want to know it. <laughs> God, and that crusty looking mouth with that red ass tongue. God. Can you imagine what the nuggets on that one look like? Fuck Jeez. no. <laughs> no. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I don't know who drew that one. Somebody needs to go back to art school on that after that one. 
That's not a good one. Someone needs to bone up on a, a few more Microsoft Paint tutorials. <laughs> yeah, because that's embarrassing. I mean, Grimace doesn't need to be. This is like, like piss that. poor. No. Yeah, that actually pisses my ass off. <laughs> now we're in business. Yeah, no. that's... hell yeah. <laughs> that's... See, mm, now the glimmer, the sheen, the glow, mm. these details right here. I mean, that's what oh. makes all the difference. I know of the hand. I didn't know Grimace's arms could be so so short. Yeah, but I guess Grimace, yeah, his yeah, little. Like I think it's just arms. perspective from how he's reaching back. It's a very long arm, but the rest of him is so much bigger. It makes yeah, it look tiny. You know? Built like a rhino, dude. Yeah, <laughs> rhino yep. butt. Oh my god! Whoa, look at that one. More cheeks than you know what to do with, dude. <sighs> Couldn't yeah, handle I mean, a body at, like that. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm that glad was... Grimace is doing better. Yeah, he looks a lot better. Looks pretty good there. I think he's covered in like aloe vera or something. Might have been sunburned. Oh yeah, that's so good on a good. That's the oh, hold on, sorry, baby. I'm blocking this one. Ooh, that's I like the, the the garter or the. Yeah, that's a little risque yeah. with that. <clears throat> that one we call Happy Birthday, Mr. Grimmis. So that one is when he's singing Happy Birthday to John F. Kennedy. Mm. Happy Birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Ooh, I like the twist on that one. Look, Don't look over your shoulder now, William, but Hyper there's a goddamn I'm hunk. scared. I feel the breath on my shoulder. If you turn your face too far to the left, you're going to smack right into the hardest washboard abs <laughs> Yeah, no shit. I see, into. dude. I'm trying not to move. I totally <laughs> fucking can tell. Ugh, look at that. It smells so good. He looks really. F- I I don't on, I don't like the I don't like the ego on that one. Like he the all the other ones, it's like cute. It's a little you know, like oh me, it's a little naughty. Yeah. Like oh oh m- my juicy thick ass that won't quit. Oh oh yeah. Oh, I dropped my kimono. Oh oh <laughs> my kimono. Oh, I'm indecent. You shouldn't be here for this, but I guess you can stay. That one's like yeah, fuck you. Look at me. Look at this. I don't like it. Bad vibes, Bad like vibes it. on that. One. Bad vibes. It needs a vibe check on that one. Absolutely. Yeah, not comfortable with that. Yeah, oh, I hate God. shit like that. <laughs> I hate shit like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm as mad as Heath was. Yeah, earlier. get him off, Grant. Oh, he's gone. He's, they're gone now. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, chili burber. Okay, Ike. Here we got you some ghost dots. Oh my god. Yum. You read my writer. Look at those things. Yeah, yeah. We. I saw demanded that, that these be here. I said I would not do even one minute of recording if there weren't. Try some ghost dots in the building. Have you ever tried those, Casey? Uh uh-uh. uh When did these expire? Are they marshmallow flavored? What flavor? What are they? I don't Which... know what flavor oh, they are. They're oh, all oh. the flavors, but they're mystery because they're the same ghost color. Oh shit! Doesn't get more fun than that. So they're yeah. strawberry, lemon, lime, cherry, or orange. Those are the options. Yum. It's gonna be one of those flavors. All right, let's t- let's let's tuck into this. Yeah, we need to get stuff. Ooh. Ed, that's really loud, actually. That's really loud. Ouch. I'm not kidding. You're not going to be able to Hey, it. hey. Ouch. That's super loud, dude. Ouch. Oh, shit. I got like three flavors right here. Whoa, yum. Okay. Down the hatch. Try it out. It's made by to- the Tootsie Company, Albert Tootsie. <laughs> Albert Tootsie and the Stinky Bunch. Albert. <laughs> <laughs> You could forget. <laughs> what are your like, thoughts? This one tastes like burnt rubber. <laughs> that's, I think, how it's supposed to taste. So that's perfect. There's some <laughs> gross out. Yeah, there's some gross out ones thrown in there. Heath, and then we got you a sweet little baby bottle pop. Oh, yeah. Baby bottle pop. Baby, baby bottle pop. It's literally the baby bottle pop, but it's still really good. That sounds really good. I'm excited for it. They're really tasty. Oh, nice oh, snag. I know. Very coordinated. <laughs> nice snag. Mm-hmm. Cool, Ike. Well, thank you so much for being on today. Heath, you as well. Uh, the seat Ike, how can Go folks find you? Come here, Heath. Come here, Heath. Okay. Come here, Heath. Come here, Heath. Go sneak behind Casey. That way. Heath. 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 Heath, that way. Heath. 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 Come on over. Heath. Sorry, come here, Heath. Keith, come on, dude. This candy. Hold on. Come here, Keith. Keith, come on, dude. Come here, Keith. I'm <laughs> so sweet. Come here, Heath. <laughs> come here, Heath. There we go. Squat down, Heath. Squat down, Heath. Yeah, get a, get in here. Watch right. out for the there knife. He Heath. Heath, you were so sweet for a cobag. Yeah. 
Thank you. <laughs> and that's exciting. Y'all met each other for the first time yesterday. Yeah. And y'all are now, things are happening fast. That's what happens. We're best friends. We are. It's only up from here. Okay, where can people find y'all? Keith? Um, I have an Instagram. Mm-hmm. T H E R E A L H E A T H. And then also say it because I lost what that was spelling. <laughs> the real Heath man hyphen. That hyphen that hyphen's important. Yeah. Somebody already right. took the Heath Bottom man. Line. Yeah, there's another yeah. real Heath <laughs> man. Yeah, you need somebody to already got yourself that one. on another Instagram account. <laughs> um, you can find me uh, in the on a on the farm. I'm on farm time. Farmville. Farmville. Uh, Farmville. I'm on Farmville, so come plant plant me a crop or. Um, pick my crop or poke my crop, whatever it is you're yeah, supposed find to find them on Farmville for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and if you're not on the farm, you can find me uh, at Ike Rafferty on Instagram. Cool. Well, I think... refuse to spell it because I can't read. <laughs> and that's basically it. That's all you need. How's the baby bottle pop? Yeah. Really baby good. bottle pop. How's it's it? Really good. And I you got to dip it into the. You gotta dip it into okay, the sure. stuff. The last time I had one of these was when they pulled me out of my mother's womb. That was sweet of them. I think I was a little too young to get hooked <laughs> on that yeah. kind of shit. They didn't they even have any teeth yet. yet. Yeah. Those doctors fucked you up, dude. <clears throat> cool. All right. Cool. Well, thank y'all so much for being on the show. Thank you. So nice to see you. Thank you so much for having us on the show. Yeah, it was so nice. Yeah, this was nice, Casey. Cool. Casey, this was nice, man. So <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, man. <clears throat> you look good, dude. Thanks. Find me on Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley RuneScape. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.